Hi everyone. Today I'm going to tell you how to change the rolls of film on the laminator. First, make sure the machine is turned off so it's cool. Then, take some scissors and cut the film so that you can remove the top and bottom rolls. There's a spring on the right hand side of the top roll, so just press it towards the spring and it slips out. I'm always careful to lay it down oriented the way that I got it off the machine so that I remember which way the film comes off the roll. In this case with the top roll, it's coming from underneath, so I'm just going to set this aside. Now I'm going to grab my new roll of film for the top roll and I'm going to make sure that it's oriented the same way with the film coming from underneath. To remove the film, just unscrew one of the ends, take it off, and slide the roll off. Set it aside. Then once again, I'm making sure the film is coming from underneath. Just slide this in and press it firmly. Then replace the other end. Screw it in. Then I'm going to slide this back into the top slot, pressing the spring-loaded end in first. There we go. So now my roll is coming from underneath, and I'm going to bring it over the top of this metal bar right here. And then I put the film just over this plastic shield just to keep it out of the way. Now I'll work on the bottom roll of film. There's a little lever right underneath to remove this plate. I'm just sliding it to the right and lifting this away. Next I'm going to remove the bottom roll of film. It's the same idea. There's a spring-loaded side on the right. I'm going to press to that side, lift it up. This has run out of film completely. So, in order to know which way the film was supposed to come out from the roll, I'm going to refer to this diagram that comes in every box of laminate film. And according to this diagram, the roller underneath, it should come out underneath. And so, I'm just going to place it in. It's coming out underneath at the back. So I'm just going to follow this diagram, and I have to do the same thing. I'm going to remove this end here, set it down, slide the bar out, and get my roll of film. I make sure that I orient it like it is illustrated in the diagram, coming out at the back underneath. And I'll slide my bar in. Fasten on the other end. Press it firmly and screw it down. Then I slide this back in, pressing in the spring-loaded side so that the other end will fit into the hole over here. Now with this, I have to make sure there's a metal bar under here. You have to lift a little bit, slide it down, so that you can get the film underneath. 
So I'm just going to slide that metal bar back into place. And then I have this film here. I'm going to drape it over the top of the rubber rolls so that it's out of the way. And then slide the metal plate back on. The machine will not run unless this is in place and this shield is down. So now I'm going to go ahead, just make sure things are straight. As you can see, we have some film still stuck on the rubber roll. I'm not sure how to get that off. But if there's extra film coming out from the old rolls, just kind of tuck it back, drape it out of the way. So I'm going to make sure that the bottom roll of film is draped over like this so that there's a spot right here where I can run the material through that I'm going to laminate. I also need to make sure to pull the top film down like this and kind of tuck it in. And then in that way, when I run this through, it will catch both rolls of film and we should be good to go. So now I'm going to lower the shield, turn on the machine, and the firmness of the cardboard just really helps it to push on through. And I can see it's coming out the back. All is well. And I'm going to let it run until the cardboard is completely free of the machine and leave a couple inches extra film before I stop and take my scissors and cut the film at the back so that there's a couple a couple inches extra. Are you talking about something else? Got another name for it. And put the clamp on. Did my text go through? Oh, and I'll just let the machine heat up. Thanks for watching.